New at six, the decades long story of an iconic Chicago restaurant ended suddenly today with a note on the door. That note announcing the closure of the signature room on the 95th floor of what used to be the John Hancock Center. CBS 2's Noel Brennan spoke to one customer who did not expect her first visit to be her last. I have to say it was probably like one of the best moments of my life thus far. The view from the 95th floor is as sweet as the memory for Grace Peterson. That whole day was a surprise for me personally. She visited just once this June, but she'll remember it for a lifetime. What does the signature room mean to you? So the signature room has a special spot in my heart. The restaurant near the top of the building, once called the John Hancock Center, is the spot Grace's fiance picked for the big moment. Yeah. <laughs> and it was perfect. It was a beautiful moment. After the people realize that it happened, like the whole restaurant starts clapping. So I thought that that was really cool to have. A summer proposal may have been one of the last at the signature room. I got this direct message saying that they had closed. On Thursday, a sign appeared in the lobby announcing the signature room's sudden and permanent closure after more than 30 years. So it kind of made me like really sad. It reads in part, after the closure of our city and restaurant due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we've been faced with severe economic hardship and the challenges have been greater than anticipated. All of the workers that were a part of that establishment made it really special too. A similar statement posted on the restaurant's website thanks customers, quote, for the trust you placed in us to be part of your special moments. All these other people that have been coming here for so long, like as well, they just, I'm sure that hits hard for them too. Grace has memories to keep. And I'm really, really grateful for that. But she'll miss reliving this moment on the 95th floor. Noel Brennan, CBS 2 News. A lot of memories there.